Let's bring in Steve Gallardo, a supervisor from the Maricopa County Board of Elections. I know how busy you are, Steve. Thank you for taking this time. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. But it's a good use of your time because the stink is upon you, my brother. You know what's being said. You guys screwed it up. You're, you're not counting these votes on purpose. There's a problem afoot. What do you want the audience to know? Arizona's elections are safe, secure, they're accurate. We ensure that every voter uh, has the most fundamental right, the right to cast a ballot. And when they cast that ballot, we're going to do everything we can to ensure it gets counted. Uh, yes, we had record turnout uh, this primary election. A number uh, of Republicans, Democrats, independents went to the polls to exercise that right. It is our responsibility to ensure that every ballot counts. And yes, it's, uh, it does take us a few days in order to make sure every ballot is counted. Uh, as you stated, nearly 290,000 voters dropped off their early ballots at the polling site. We need to verify those signatures to make sure that they are actually cast by the right voters. We have uh, a number of voters that vote what they call the provisional ballots. We need to figure out why exactly did they vote a provisional ballot and go ahead and, and tabulate those that are legal ballots. So, so yes, it takes a while. We're asking people, be patient. We will, we will finalize this election soon enough. Pushback, no patience. Everybody else does it faster. Uh, either you don't do it well or you're not doing it on purpose. What's your response? We, we have the best election system here in the state of Arizona. It was it many of the laws that we are following right now have been pushed by uh, Republican legislators and Republican signed by Republican governors. Uh, we are following what statute requires us to do. Uh, we're going to ensure that every ballot is cast. I understand uh, you're going to have folks that are very anxious. They want to see the results. Uh, we're going to get to those. We're going to make sure every ballot is counted. When it comes to folks like like Charlie Kirk and, and others that want to throw rocks at the at our system, uh, we're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore all the conspiracies and unfounded claims. Uh, these election deniers have been throwing rocks over the last two years since 2020. Uh, they continue to throw rocks, continue to want to undermine our democracy. Uh, they continue to want to, to try to uh, add shame to our hardworking elections officials. We're going to continue to do our jobs. Let Charlie Kirk and let Kerry Lake and many of those others that want to cast uh, unfounded claims and continue to put out uh, uh, unfounded remarks and, and lies about our election system. We're going to do our job count every ballot, and make sure our elections, as they always are, safe, secure, and accurate. The, the only thing I want you to go back to is a lot of people get a lot more ballots. You know, the, the vote was up in a lot of different places. Why is it taking you longer than those other places? We, we have different methods of voting in the state of Arizona. Like you said, we have, we have a provision in statute that was passed by Republicans and signed by Republican governor that allows folks to cure their ballot. If their ballot is mailed in and their signature does not match, we notify the voters and say, hey, you have seven days to come in. Is that the biggest reason for the delay? No, no, that's one. That's one. But the fact is that we have record number turnout. The fact is we have multiple ways of voting, not just on election day, but to be able to turn in their ballot all the way up to 7 p.m. on election night. Uh, so there's a lot of different areas that we're having to, to, uh, to, to look at. We take pride in ensuring that every voter has the right to cast their ballot. Every voter uh, has the right to be able to have access to that ballot box. No voter is denied. We're going to make sure every ballot is counted. So you haven't had any uh, legitimate reports of any kind of fraud or stolen ballots or missing ballots or any type of intrigue that has the state investigating for problems? None. None whatsoever. And when will there be results, Steve? We, we, we anticipate to have results uh, sometime early next week. Our hardworking elections officials are working through the weekend. Uh, to ensure that every ballot is counted later on this evening. There will be around 65 to 70,000 ballots that are going to be dropped and be added to the tabulation. We anticipate that same number come tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday. We will continue to count ballots and drop them off or add to the totals all the way up until uh, all the ballots are counted. And we anticipate sometime early next week we will have those ballots counted. Steve, I appreciate it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, 
and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.